Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. I'm going to take my mask off here so you can hear what I'm saying. We're on the production floor. We're actually in the cabinet shop this morning. We're going to go from here over to service, and we're going to check in on our long-term reimagining of a coach. Uh, but anyway, hope everyone had a good weekend. And to all of you watching, let us know where you're watching from. I just got back from the desert with my man, Jim Cogley. Uh, we had a great time down there uh, so with some events for Marathon. And uh, so I know Jim's watching this morning. So a big hello to Jim down in the desert. We're going to talk about quality in the cabinet shop this morning before we go over to service. And I want, right before we went live, a couple of things really stood out. John, I'm going to... I'm just going to kind of look at a few things right here. The thing about that always, I mean, I've done this for f almost five years now and, and I'm never, I'm always surprised. I'm, I'm never taking this for granted. The quality that you see uh, coming out of our cabinet shop, it's the guts, it's the heart and soul of a coach. Um, it's the things that people look at. It's the, the aspects of the coach that, people really appreciate is the fit and finish. And Marathon, we take our time. We take our time on building these coaches. The, these coaches take five to six months to build because of the quality that comes out. Come over here and take a look at this before we go into the cabinet shop. This is a simple piece. This is a simple piece. This is Coach 33, 1355's galley lower push out shelf. It's just lined with our engineered leather and the time that it took to get these transitions correct always blow me away this is that scratch proof cleanable engineered leather it's a little dusty but you know what this is what stands out to me this is a simple lightweight piece that it's made of our balsa blend that we use, but it's real solid wood, but it's lined and there are no edges that are unfinished. No exposed edges. This edge right here will go against a wall. But look at how beautiful that is. This is one tiny piece on Coach 1355. This is what, this is a great example of what Marathon does that stands out and puts us at the top of the luxury converters. We take it that far and I'm very proud of our guys and our gals that build these things. I love seeing that. Let's go this way. Here's another thing that I set up for you to look at. This is a galley upper, I believe on coach. Here's my blueprints right here. I was looking at this, uh, not that I know what I'm looking at. 1360. This is 1360, a coach that my man Jim Cogley knows well. This is 1360's galley upper. Look at all of these measurements and all of these Everything is labeled. A craftsman or a craftswoman is jumping in here and they are putting this together, all these parts, and this is still set to be laminated. The reason it's over here, I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna go take it to the coach, fit it in there and make sure that it fits and they'll scribe it and then they'll come back and laminate it. So there's all kinds of measurements and notes in here on all of these pieces screwed, glued, stapled, three points of reference when it comes to putting it together. So just a real quality piece and such a big piece. And it just stands out to me when I see the time it takes for one piece of cabinetry. And I love seeing that and I love showing you guys that because that is when we talk about marathon quality, that is what you see. That is what you experience when you are in your coach. If you're buying coach 1360, 
1360 is a custom coach that's already sold. The owners will appreciate, and then when they trade it in or they sell it, for years and decades, this cabinetry will hold up because it's built with quality. Let's go this way. <clears throat> now from right here, John can turn around and he can pan this whole wall and see all of the wood that's up there. All kinds of different materials. And this is just one side. There's a lot that goes in to building a successful coach with the cabinetry. Thirteen fifty sevens galley lower cabinet. Look at all the parts. And you see this? This has been laminated. But you see how it's covered with this protective tape? That is so that laminate stays fresh, un unscratched, undinged, so that it stays fresh, so that when it is installed, it doesn't get scratches. We do that. Here's another one. Here's the bedroom curbside rear wardrobe of 1357. It's fully laminated, but it is completely covered to protect it. So after it's built, before it goes into the coach and before it's installed, Marathon takes it to the level of protecting it so that it stays pristine prior to going into the coach. I just love seeing that. This is something that I was looking at earlier also. This is a part of the bed infrastructure. This is a bed pedestal for 1357. And it's just right now about to be assembled. Looks like they've already done some of the assembly. What I want to do this morning is really have you understand that it's not taken for granted. That's one of the things that really stands out. The cabinetry is really something that's not taken for granted by Marathon. And that's why it takes a long time. Get that out of your way, John. Let's look at this one over here. Oh, here you go. Here's a kit. I'll give you an example. This is a galley lower. Over there, we saw the galley upper. This is a galley lower, okay? Look at all these parts. All of these are parts, and all of them have been cataloged right here, barcoded. So you know this kit right here is about to be assembled over here. All of these parts will go into a galley lower, kind of like we saw on that galley upper over there. That's a lot of work. Here's a booth dinette, something we don't see very often, especially in a coach, but this is a facing dinette or a booth dinette. I'll try and find out what coach number this is for, John. This might be um, for the remodels that we're doing, but look at that. There's so much that goes into it for this facing dinette. Isn't that great? All these parts here. And furthermore, you can't just hire a guy like myself. I have I would I would know nothing about I know nothing about woodworking. I know nothing about it. And so you could hire me, but think of how long it would take to train me to build a quality piece <clears throat> to go into a marathon caliber uh, coach. And you can turn around right now, John, and see him uh, working on that facing dinette. I, lo I love seeing this. Let's go right over here. Absolutely. Abigail just pointed out this thing. Here's a piece that's being laminated. Now, this is a slide out tray for a lower bay. And this is right in the middle of 
being laminated. And you can tell because you can see that they haven't filed down uh, the adhesive. But it is really, really great to see. And also, yeah, cargo box for $13.54. It's just so well done. I love how we do our cargo trays. And then if you look over here, and you've seen this, if you've been to Marathon, if you've gone on the tour, or if you've watched Marathon Mondays, you've seen this little boneyard right here. These are pieces that are ready to be laminated. Look at how much work goes into the contour of this curve. That's the occasional table on 1360. And remember we saw, these are all parts for 1360 it looks like. Bedroom, vanity. This is 1360. This is 1360. This is the galley upper, I believe. Slide out dinette upper. So this is the this is above the dinette. Bedroom upper. I'm glad Jim Cogley is watching because he can share this with his client. All of these pieces right here are going to be installed in 1360. Awesome. All right. We're going to go through the building right into service. Get that door for you, John. Hope everyone's having a good uh, Monday. It's my sister's birthday. She's not yet 50. That might tell you she's 49. Here, I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to be a little quiet right here. Um, John, uh, Kevin's in here, and he's been working on this Roman shade. And he told me about it earlier. Uh, because the Roman shades are so heavy, you have to have two motors in one area. And he's fixing just a simple string. And uh, that's one of the things that um, when I came through, I saw him taking the time. You know, and this is time-consuming stuff. And um, so big thanks to Kevin for letting us look at that. And here we are in service. We're going to go down here into this coach. And uh, I'm going to show you how that remodel is going. Service is always fun. You get to see all kinds of different eras from a 97 down there to new coaches. Uh, this coach right here is 1127. This is the one that we saw about three weeks ago. Uh, they are in, they are doing a massive remodel in this coach. Um, a reimagining, if you will. So we're going to go in here because I want to show you one element. Watch your step, John, as we come in here. John, I'm going to let you go all the way to the back bedroom. Take your time so we don't lose Wi-Fi, but you can show everybody what's going on in here. New floor, new upholstery, new lighting, new walls, new valances, new styles, new appliances are going to be in here. This is a massive reimagining in Coach 1127. This is the power of the Prevo chassis. This is the power of Marathon's service department, whether it be Florida, Texas, or Oregon. This is where you can buy a coach and reimagine it to be your own. And so we're going to be doing a ton of work in this coach over the next couple of months, but I want you to take a look at this one thing. This was a bunk coach. As you can see, it's still a bunk coach. The bunks have just been pulled. This is coach 1127. Now, what they're gonna do, and, and Greg's already doing this in our service department, the bunks have been removed. This cabinetry down here is gonna still remain. So these drawers, are, are these are large drawers. I would hate to lose these too. And as you see right there on John's right, my left, the washer dryer are still there. But here's the deal, you get to still keep these, and instead of having the bunks, the new owners wanted massive storage and a wine cooler. This is gonna be cool. So you're gonna have a wine cooler right here that's gonna have a really great presentation with the, the, the faded glass, it's gonna be beautiful. And then about right here, it's gonna have a shelf that goes all the way across. So you're gonna have storage, storage all the way across here, and then there's going to be doors that go across here now. 
okay? So that you open them up and you've got the wine cooler and you've got your storage in here. And that is, you know, that's what the owners wanted. And so that's what they're gonna get. But they still get to retain the cool elements of this area. And that's the storage underneath here and that washer dryer right there. <clears throat> These are going to be reupholstered to, to new fabric, new styles, new valances, new floor in here. And it's, it's a lot of work to do this floor. And I got to tell you, I think this is going to be a heated floor. I don't want to tell tales out of school, but I think the heavenly hands of Rob Angelo and Wes were telling me this morning that this is going to have heated floors in it. I think that's what they were saying. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of work to get it right. And that's one thing I wanna stress is when Marathon does a remodel, they do it right. Uh, one of the things that our, our COO, Steve Irvin told me a long time ago is, we make a remodel look like that was the original way the coach was built in production. And he's absolutely right. And we've seen it on this show and we've seen it in person. When we do a reimagining, it looks like that was the original idea. So like those bunks back there, it'll look like the original floor plan had a wine cooler in it with storage. I love it. So a lot going on. One more thing to show you on this coach that I think, yeah, John, watch your step there. I think they got it done. You know what? We're gonna have to show you at another time. Uh, hey Greg, where's the where's the, the the new barbecue? Is in here? Just the cabinet right now. The Just barbecue the... is right here. Oh, I saw it over there. Okay, so the cabinetry right here. Right. Take a look at this, you guys. Can I? Is it okay if I push it out? It should be. Okay. As long as it's powered up. It is powered up. Look at that. Thanks, Greg. I'm gonna change spots here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's enough. This will come out a lot further because as you can see, back here is gonna be a lot of storage. Now, the thing that really stands out to me is this Cori on top. This is one thing I love. On this coach, 1127, this is going to be a big counter spot, a lot of, a lot of area, a lot of landscape here for serving food, putting food together. Here's the blueprints that we see for that cabinetry. Isn't that great? So it's going to have a, it looks like this is going to be your finished product. So you've got a little freezer, freezer refrigerator here and then the um, grill is over here. And let me show you this. These little divots are, I believe these are magnets underneath these divots. Uh, and they're, they're not even divots, they're cutouts, if you will. But if you were playing golf, I guess it would be a divot. So that's where the feet of that grill fits into. Very, very cool. I'm excited about this remodel because it shows the potential. This customer saw in this coach something worthy of rebuilding. We're going to put that back in. They saw the value in investing in this coach and then investing in their ownership of it by reimagining it, working with uh, Marathon designers, Marathon engineers, and Marathon service. And you're gonna, what you're going to get out of that is the quality that is Marathon quality. You see it on the production floor. You also see it out of here because when you're doing a remodel, all of the parts that go into a remodel are coming from that production floor, are coming from the cabinet shop, are coming from the hard surfaces shop. If you're gonna repaint this, it's the same spot where the, the new coaches are repainted. Here's that new grill. This, this grill was probably specked out by the owners. It's got the little feet on it so that they just fit in there and it's magnetized. But what you can do is you can pick it up and lift it off of that cabinetry so that you can clean it. And I like that, it's serviceable. Very cool. Let's walk this way and we'll wrap up the show for the day. A lot going on. I was earlier talking about Wes and Rob Angelo, the heavenly hands of.
because they're the ones that are going to be doing that floor in that coach, 1127. So we're going to check back on that coach in a couple of weeks, and we'll see the floor. We'll see how it's evolving, and we'll also see that new wine cabinet storage where the bunks used to be. That's coach 1127, so stay tuned uh, because I know a lot of you are, are looking, hey, should I buy a coach that is pre-owned? and invest in it and reimagine it to be my own. And you absolutely should. And that's what Marathon Mondays uh, does, is we, we show the quality that's coming out of this service shop here in Coburg and how much time and care it goes into those, um, those remodels. All right, everybody. Uh, hope you have a good week. Hope you have a good Monday. Happy birthday to my sister. Be yourself and do good things. That's how I'm trying to live my life. We'll see you next Monday. Um, I'm out of here. <laughs>